Good morning, Professor and Doctor. I'm Stephen Awiono from Universitas Udayana. Today, I would like to present our study about comparison between dura splitting technique with duraplasty in symptomatic patient with cherry malformation type 1, a systematic review and meta-analysis. As we know, cherry malformation can be divided into four types, and several techniques used to treat cherry malformation type 1, such as posterior fossa decompression, posterior fossa decompression with dura splitting, posterior fossa decompression with duraplasty, posterior fossa decompression with duraplasty and additional arachnoidal dissection, and posterior fossa decompression with duraplasty and tonsillar dissection. In this study, we would like to compare between two techniques. Dura splitting technique defined as posterior fossa decompression with fibrous bend excision of the dura, and duraplasty defined as posterior fossa decompression with duraplasty either using allograft or autograft. Here's our PICO framework from patient. We use chair malformation type 1 patient over preschool age. Intervention is dura splitting technique with comparison is duraplasty technique and six outcome we evaluate complication rate, length of stay, operation time, reoperation rate, syringomalia reduction, and symptoms improvement. Here's our personal flow chart from three register and we found 436 database and five study with included. Here is the quality of studies. We assess the quality of studies using Newcastle Ottawa scale. Here is the characteristic of studies. Here we can see the type of studies, intervention, and outcome for each studies. First outcome, complication rate. We use fixed effect model with the pool risk ratio is 0 0.19. The pool difference in complication rate decreased significantly among group treated with dura splitting technique compared those with dura plastic technique. Here's the example of complication, aseptic meningitis, cerebral and chest afflicts. These are post-operative indicators, and Clickham in 2012 found that complication rate in cherry malformation surgery was 21.8%, and passes in 2020 found that post-operative complications significantly increased risk of prolonged length of stay. Next is length of stay. We use fixed effect model with the pool risk ratio is minus 3.53. The pool difference in length of stay decreased significantly among groups treated with dura splitting technique compared those with dura plus technique. It related to cost effectiveness, and in our study, we found that dura splitting technique reduced the length of stay significantly, but it just limited study and small sample, so it should be reconsidered. And as I mentioned before, it related to complication. Next is operation time. We use fixed effect model with the pool risk ratio is minus 48.11. The pool difference in operation time decreased significantly among groups treated with dura splitting technique compared those with dura plus technique. Again, it's related to cost effectiveness, and in our study, we found that dura splitting technique reduced the operation time significantly, but it's just limited study with small sample, so it should be reconsidered. Next is reoperation rate. We use fixed effect model with the pull risk ratio is 2.63. The full difference in reoperation rate indicated no significant difference between dura splitting group and those treated with duraplasty group. Here's two main reasons to perform reoperation. First, symptoms, either no improvement, recurrence, or worsen, and surgery complication. Sacco in 2003 found that 17% reoperation rate in cherry type 1 decompression and Parker in 2011 found Overall reoperation rate were 12.3% for posterior fossa decompression with duraplasty and higher on autograft group. Next is syringomyelia with fixed effect model with the pool risk ratio is 1.12. The pool difference in syringomyelia reduction indicated no significant difference between those treated with dura splitting group and duraplasty group. Syringomyelia reduction is one of the radiological evaluation, and TOSI in 2020 found that clinical improvement doesn't relate to radiological improvement. Next is symptom improvement. We use fixed effect model with the pool risk ratio is 1.22. The pool difference in symptom improvement increased significantly among groups treated with dura splitting technique compared those with dura plastic technique. Here in our study, we found that dura splitting technique related to higher clinical improvement compared to duraplasty technique, although the compression in this technique sometimes considered inadequate. Gubrus in 2015 found that no difference in clinical improvement between posterior fossa decompression and duraplasty technique, and Butensky in 2019 found that chair malformation surgery related to 80% of symptom improvement. Conclusion in this study is posterior fossa decompression using the dura splitting technique associated with lower rate of complication, shorter length of stay, higher symptom improvement, and shorter operation time. No significant difference were found in the reoperation rate and syringomyelia reduction. And some limitation of this study, such as no randomized study included, and studies with small sample number. Thank you.